Hi guys, welcome back to the home automation series. Today we will learn home automation without home assistant coding. Before starting this video, if you really want to learn home automation for free, then please subscribe to my channel. Share to home automation lovers who want to understand or learn home automation and want to generate some side income by providing home automation service. And hit the like button if you like the video which motivate me to give latest information of home automation to you for free. Now let's start. Firstly open home assistant. Then go to supervisor. Add on store. And search for MQTT. Install MQTT. Basically MQTT used to link between home assistant and node mcu after installation go to configuration then integration now configure mqtt broker then reconfigure mqtt Change username as a home assistant username, password as a home assistant password. After changing, click on next and then submit. Now MQTT is configured. Then again go to add on store and search for node red. Install Node-RED also. After installation, go to Configuration. Then add Credential Secret. Then add HTTP node, password and username, then HTTP static, password and username. Write SSL to false. Then save. After save, start the node read and check the logs. If log doesn't show any error, start the node read. So these are the nodes. So these nodes connect with each other to transmit data from dashboard to microcontroller or microcontroller to dashboard. This is a workspace where we connect nodes. Now pick up a button, slider and switch from the dashboard. Now double click on button. You see all the properties of button. Select the group which you want to display this button. You can create the group by click on edit. Then select add new dashboard tab. Then change the name whatever you want. Then click on add. In case if you want 
some icons to show on dashboard. So click on font awesome icons. Then select the icon whichever you want. Then copy the code and paste it on icon tab. You can change the size of icon by adding far and the size. Then click on add. Then change the name whatever you want. So the group has been created. Similarly change the settings of button to also. After applying the properties, click on deploy. Now select the dashboard and open the dashboard. Now write the username and password which is configured earlier. Now you can see the dashboard which is built by Node-RED. You can adjust the size of button by changing size property. You can change the label of button also. You can add the icon in button also by using font awesome icon. by searching the code which you want to display on icon and add this code on the icon and change the color of button You can do on remaining buttons also.
to see the change in the slider you can use gauge gauge show the value of slider You can use text also by displaying the output of microcontroller. This is a dashboard layout property. You can adjust the dashboard by changing the layout properties. Now the dashboard portion is over. We have to send this payloads of button, slider and switch to microcontroller by using MQTT. So now select MQTT. The IP address of server will be equals to IP address of home assistant. Then write the topic and click done. You can change the server IP by clicking on edit. Now change the IP address in server. Then click on security. The username will be equals to MQTT home assistant username and password is home assistant password. Now connect button, slider and switch to MQTT. In this way, the button having payload which transmit to microcontroller using MQTT via topic. Suppose if I write switch1 on in the button inside payload then MQTT will transmit this payload to microcontroller via topic.
and the output of microcontroller can be displayed on dashboard using MQTT in the payload which is transmitting from microcontroller to dashboard inside topic is displayed on text. Now I copy the whole system and paste below it and change the group of below system. So in this way I make two separate system and second system I named it as bedroom 2. After deploying, when you see the dashboard, you will see the menu bar on the left hand side. On clicking the menu bar, you will see two pages that is bedroom 1 and bedroom 2. As I am changing the icon of bedroom 2. So in this way you can make different dashboard system pages. So our home assistant portion is over. Now move towards Arduino to program Node MCU. ESP board should be installed in Arduino IDE and PubSub client library should be installed also. I discussed this in earlier videos. Now open MQTT ESP8266 example in PubSub client. Now modify some codes in this. Firstly change the SSID to your router SSID password to your router password. and MQTT server is then IP address of home assistant. Now change character topic to string topic in callback. and add string message and load the payload inside string message now change the if condition
Now the if condition is so much simple. If you observe the if condition that is topic equals to equals to bedroom 1 this topic is same in the node red dashboard mqdt out topic. And button payload is same in the message if condition. Similarly in switch case also. To publish on the node red dashboard, the command of that one is client.publish, then topic, and last is payload. Client.publish command send on payload to the node red dashboard using bedroom one status topic. Similarly add code inside microcontroller for bedroom 2 also.
Add Home Assistant username and password inside client.connect. Add all the subscribe topic inside client.subscribe. Add microcontroller pin inside void setup to trigger relay. After selecting Node MCU board, click on Upload button. As you can see, nothing is happening by clicking on the Node Red dashboard. After connecting the microcontroller to the home assistant, when I click the on button, the feedback from microcontroller is displayed on the dashboard. In this way, we can get the feedback from microcontroller to the dashboard. As you see that when I am changing the slider, no message is coming to the microcontroller. The reason is that slider is not connected to the MQTT out. After connecting the slider to the MQTT out, if I change the slider, then the message will be appear on microcontroller. So in this way you can control your home using Node-RED and microcontroller.